YouTube, what's happening? You already know who it is, and you know what time it is. Y'all been asking about a super, super, super high volume, crazy pump, bicep and tricep workout? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do biceps and triceps. It's gonna be raw footage, it ain't gonna be no voiceover. I guarantee if you try this routine, you're gonna have a crazy, crazy pump, intensity, and the volume is there. As soon as we finish with that, we're gonna jump into a crazy, crazy ad workout that I guarantee if you will stay true to it and clean your diet up a little bit, you will have six pack and obliques in at least three to six months. But anyways, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, thanks to everybody who subscribed. I said I'm over 2,000. We're climbing. 10,000 is coming soon. Like I say, just keep getting them gains. If you need anything, y'all just holler at me. Stay true to your gains. But anyways, like, subscribe, holler at your boy. Chin ups, you pull with your lats and try to pull back. We're not gonna do that with this. We're trying to emphasize everything in your biceps. So you literally want to pull and kind of curl. Like bring yourself to the weight. And you got four sets. Start out with like body weight and just keep adding weight each set. Start out with about 12 reps and your heaviest set. Make sure you still get five to seven reps. It's all about the intensity and volume. Let's get it. Next exercise, we'll do the dips. The dips from the thing is, don't go too far down because you're gonna start separating your chest. We're worrying about our triceps, we're about parallel, and come right before you're at the top, before you walk out, and go right back down. That way you can keep constant tension on your triceps at all times. And you'll see as I get tired, like the last two reps, I damn near lock it out to about 95%, but I never have to lock it out because that will fuck your elbows all up. And I don't want you to do that. got the dumbbell curls, I call them advanced curls. So what you can do is you can do a light weight. So if you get dumbbell curl 50 for 10, do about 30. So you're gonna get both dumbbells in your hands, hold one, and just keep it tight. I like you flex and it's gonna get tight. And then do five with this one. As soon as you finish your five repetitions, hold this one and squeeze and flex. Then do five. Then once you get done with this one, five, then you do them together. Them last five are going to be crucial. That's gonna make you get some really good games. Bench press, probably one of probably one of my favorite. Just mass size for triceps. I really like dips too. You know, I always do dips. I'm gonna show you something. There's two different ways to do this, and I see people doing it, and they're gonna hurt my shoulders or wrists. So if you're doing this, you're doing like this. Don't be putting your hands super close like this. Don't do that. <laughs> Take your hands straight up and work your hands. That's what you need. I'll be back right there. Still there. Hi, 
Uh, and this one is called Spider Curls. You can definitely use a preacher bar or use the flat side. That way you keep your arms flat. Because when you do a preacher curl, you're actually kind of hurting your elbows because you've got all that weight that's pushing down on your el elbow and your tendons and everything. So stay away from that. This right here is no momentum. You can't swing. You will feel every single inch of the range of motion. Like I said, we got three sets and we'll do 12 reps. Make sure you pick the light weight because eventually it's going to get heavy as hell. These are line dumbbell extensions. If you pay attention, I'm actually pushing the weight back instead of pushing the weight up. If you push the weight up, think about it, you're gonna have all that weight and all the tension on your elbows. So even though you are getting tricep work, you're putting a lot of unnecessary stress on your elbows. So like I say, lay back. I'll show you, look what I'm doing. Instead of this, don't do that. Take it and do it. And do it, twist. And you can see it, that's the tricep. Three sets, if you use a lightweight, we got three sets instead of at least 12 reps, 12 reps each set. Alright, this is going to be your last bicep exercise, and what this is, it's called a Moore Curl. I named it after myself, it's my last name. What you can do is, any station is like this. You put your arm on it, just like that. That way you have no momentum, no swing, not constant tension on your bicep. Pull it up, slow and control. Don't jerk, just slow and control, do it like that. And I'm telling you, it's going to be one of your favorite exercises. We got three sets, since this is the last, we went in for like 12 to 15 reps. Let's get these gains. On this one, it's the traditional just leg throw. If you don't have somebody like I do, like I have a partner, he's literally, as soon as my legs reach the desired position, he's throwing me back. So that way I gotta fight the resistance on the way down. And then I kick all the way up and crunch, and then he throws me down. I just repeat that process so I get three sets for 15 reps. If you don't have nobody, then I to throw you. It's simple to use a heavy dumbbell or anything that you can grab a hold on that will support you and just do the same exact thing. Make sure you don't bring your legs up too far. That way you'll take it all off and you'll start feeling it in your back. Go where your legs is straight up and down with the ceiling, and then you'll be perfect. We got three sets for 15 reps. And on this one over here, we're just gonna hold a plate. So you're gonna be in a decline position, you're gonna hold a plate and just crunch up. You ain't gonna bring it all the way up. Your arms just stay flexed the whole time. Your triceps will start feeling it. We're gonna do three sets for 15 reps and that is it, finish strong. Like I always tell you, you don't have to drink protein shakes. 
but if you got like an hour, two or three hours before you want to eat after workout, I highly recommend it. And that's my situation. Man, my family's about to go out, go out of town and eat, so I'll probably get me some good fish. I've been wanting some fish, so I'll probably eat like some trout, trout or something crazy. But this is hands down probably the best and cheapest protein shake ever. So if you don't like this, next time you see me, you can smack me. I'm gonna smack you back, but you still can smack me first. <laughs> but for real. This right here, man, I got this at Walmart. Check this out, man. I'm telling you, this is hands down the best thing to throw in your protein shake. And I think it's like 10 servings, and you get that for like $5. So that is dirt cheap. So we're going to put a cup and a half. I already got a cup and a half of that. Then I got two cups of my Optimal Nutrition, and it's peanut butter chocolate. You already know it sounds good. And then we got two big tables, uh, actually just spoons. So that's bigger than tablespoons. Tablespoons of peanut butter. And then I got 12 ounces of water. Mix all that up. I promise you that is the best, best protein shake ever. But I'm about to mix that up and I'll show you my post workout meal. And that's it. Just keep getting them gains and make them sleeves hug that shirt and make your shirt hug your sleeves. I don't know. <laughs>